Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing my very first YouTube paycheck. It finally happened after months and months of working, I got monetized and after that, I finally got paid. So I'm gonna share everything about the process of how I got paid from YouTube, how much money I made. So if you're interested in following my journey, then keep on watching. All right, so before I jump into my YouTube studio, I want to set the stage on when I got monetized and the whole timeline there. So you might recall from this video where I talk about the entire monetization process, I got monetized near the end of April. The very first day that I could put ads on my video was April 22nd. And the periods that YouTube looks at when they're determining your payout, it's every single month. So the first of the month, all the way to the last day of each month, that is your period. So all the ads and ad revenue that I got in that month of April was everything that I was going to get in my first YouTube paycheck. So let's dive into that right now. So here I am in my YouTube studio and you can see that this is showing basically everything for the past 28 days. So I need to go back and have this just filter for April. And I actually like this very first page, the snapshot, because it really does a great job of just giving you the main information that you need. So you can see I had nearly 32,000 views in April, 2000 hours of watch time, and I gained 417 subscribers. So you can see from the beginning of the month to the end of the month, there was definitely an increase in views. And then you can see right here is how much money I made. So $2 and 36 cents. That was how much I made my very first day monetized. Now I got monetized in the afternoon. And so I went and put all the ads on all of my videos around three o'clock in the afternoon. So my very first day was a partial day because it was basically I got ads on my videos from 3 p.m. on and then from there it started to go up. So the next day was five dollars and seventy six cents and then you can see it increased to my biggest day in April was eight dollars and twenty seven cents. So $56.66, that's not tons of money. I'm not gonna be able to retire off that, but it is a start. Let's talk about this $56.66. When did I get paid? So as I was editing the video, I realized that I missed a few key pieces of information about the Google AdSense process. So I thought I would just cover them here. So first and foremost, the payment threshold for Google AdSense. You'll remember that I made $56.66 in my very first month monetized on YouTube. But the payment threshold that Google AdSense has is $100, meaning that you have to have accumulated at least $100 before they will pay you out. So how did I get paid if I only made $56? Well, let me explain that. So I actually use Google AdSense for a few different websites. So I already had a starting balance at the beginning of the month. I started out with $53.53 in my Google AdSense account. They weren't able to pay me on that because I hadn't reached the $100 threshold. So in April, I was able to add the $56.66 to that. Plus I did make $2.33 randomly from different AdSense on a website, not great. <laughs> so with all of that in total, it ended up being $112.56. So that is the reason why I was able to get paid in May, even though I didn't even hit $100 in my first month monetized. So I wanted to add a little bit more about the timeline for how Google AdSense works because it can be a little bit confusing. So like I said before, the period for which Google takes into account is month by month. So the beginning of the month all the way to the very last day of the month, but you're not going to get paid right away. Google is working behind the scenes. They're finalizing earnings, they're adjusting things, and that does take a while. So if you made a bunch of money in April and then you go on May 1st expecting to see the money in your account, you're not going to see anything because Google is still finalizing things. And so it has these different periods that it's finalizing different parts of the AdSense program. So this calendar right here will break it all down. So from the 1st to the 7th is when Google is going to finalize any sort of website or blog earnings. Those are first and foremost. Then from the 11th to the 15th is when it finalizes YouTube AdSense earnings. So if you keep checking your AdSense account before this time wondering, why is it showing zero? Why is it showing zero? That is the reason because it is still working behind the scenes, finalizing everything. And it won't be until the 15th at the latest when you will see the final, final number. But don't worry, you can always check your AdSense numbers in the YouTube studio and that will give you roughly how much you're expected to be paid out if you qualify for the $100 threshold. 
Then lastly, payments will be processed between the 21st and the 25th. If you have hit the $100 payment threshold and you don't have any sort of outstanding holds on your account, then most likely you will get paid on the 21st. However, if the 21st lands on a weekend, then it's most likely going to appear that first Monday after the 21st. So again, the reason why you'll be paid between the 21st and the 25th, it really depends. So for me, for my very first YouTube paycheck, I ended up getting paid on the 22nd and then the next month it ended up being on the 21st. So do not stress about the dates. It is totally normal to have a few days wiggle room when it comes to getting paid by YouTube. Now it's really important. And I talk about this in my video, everything that you need to do to get monetized, but you want to make sure that your bank is set up and ready to go. So that way there's no delay in the payment when it comes time for YouTube to put that into your account. Because if your bank account is not ready on that date, then you are going to miss that month's payout. It's just going to hold the money and it's going to try again the following month. So really make sure that all your ducks in a row, that you are getting paid, that the money that Google deposits into your bank account to do a little test, that that is correct because it would be so sad to miss out on your very first YouTube paycheck because you didn't connect your bank account. Womp, womp, womp. That was a sad womp, womp, womp. So if you want to follow along on this process, you'll have to go to a different website to manage everything for your Google AdSense and getting paid out. Go to google.com slash AdSense and that's where we'll be able to see your dashboard, your payments, make sure that it's set up with your bank account and do everything there. Now you may have set up your AdSense account or maybe you had one in the past and you're not really sure. And you can actually go to your settings and then go to account information and that's where you'll be able to see your active products. So for me, my active Active products are content, content host, and YouTube host. That is what you are looking for for YouTube. If YouTube host appears there, that means that you are actively hosting ads on your YouTube account. So if you see that, check everything's good, but just be aware that doesn't necessarily mean that you have set up your bank account. You'll have to navigate to your payments tab. And if you go to the, how you get paid section, that's where you will be able to set up a payment method and link it to your bank account. And you can actually dig even more into this. So if you go into the see more tab, this is where you can see what videos were giving you the most amount of money. So you can see right here, it's breaking my revenue down per video. And this blue line was the one that for the most part was giving me the most revenue. So you can go down here and see the blue box and it's my video on how to use the every dollar app. That makes sense because it's a video related to the finance space, which typically the advertisers in that market, they're willing to pay more for their ads. And the way that you're able to really dig in to see how much advertisers were willing to pay for that video is you go to your CPM and that is your cost per thousand. Basically how much an advertiser is willing to pay for 1000 views. And so you go here to this blue check or plus sign and you click CPM and it adds a new column right here. So you can see how to win Instagram giveaways, the CPM or the cost per mill that some, that an advertiser was willing to pay for a thousand views, showing an ad to a thousand potential people was $2 and 81 cents. So even though I had way more views on that video, you multiply that by your CPM per thousand, right? And that is how you're able to get to just only $5 and 62 cents. Whereas the how to use every dollar app, that is so much higher of a CPM, nearly six times as much. And so advertisers are willing to spend a whole lot more per thousand views for potential buyers for their products. So even though this had way less views, if you're multiplying it by your CPM, that's why you're able to get a pretty decent amount of revenue from not having very many views. So your topics do matter. Your content does matter. And I can do a video all on this where I break down the CPM by different industries and types of channels. And if you really want to have me do a video all on that, I would love to break that down for you so you can know what are the best industries, the best CPMs, and what are the lowest and what types of channels do the lowest for ad revenue. Let me know in the comments below because I think that'd be really fun to dig into and I'd love to do that for you guys. So even though that didn't have that many views, you can see it only had 3000 views total. It ended up generating $13 and 10 cents because it's in a very competitive industry when it comes to ads. Those advertisers are willing to spend more to hopefully convert viewers into customers. And it's actually interesting because my video that has the most views in this month was how to win Instagram giveaways that had nearly 12,000 views, but only brought me $5 and 62 cents. So it had four times the amount of views 
and it really did less than half in revenue. So that's something that's really important to note when you're doing content is you can't just assume that your videos with the most views are going to do the most money because this it's basically teaching people how to win free stuff. And you can see there aren't a lot of ad buyers that are willing to target that type of customer or that type of person who's watching those types of videos. So I'm not surprised why that one hasn't done too well. I mean, I would love for that one to be my top performing ad revenue as well, but not surprised at the same time. So the next most successful one, it still is relating to giveaways on Instagram, but this time it was how to run a successful giveaway on Instagram. Typically people who are doing giveaways are businesses and companies. So it's just kind of interesting how there's definitely a difference in the money that you're making. This one basically had the same amount of views as this other one. It's just really interesting to see the different markets and the different segments and how much advertisers are willing to pay. You would think these two videos, how to win Instagram giveaways and how to run a successful giveaways would kind of be the same, more or less in the same boat, but it's not at all. Those are two different types of people. So yeah, that one got me $11 and 53 cents. And so you can scroll down and there definitely is a correlation to the number of views to how much money a video makes. Some of these videos had just a handful of views and I got a penny from each one of them, but all of those pennies add up. So I am not going to say no to a video that makes me a penny because it all adds up. So there you have it. I spilled all the beans on my very first YouTube paycheck. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this video was. Be sure to give it a like if you want to be monetized or you just got monetized or you've been monetized forever. Let's give this some thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to join the tribe. I make videos about how to use YouTube for your business. And I'm also sharing my YouTube journey. My goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So be sure to subscribe to follow along and to help me reach my goal. That's all I have for today and I'll see you next time.